Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. Welcome to the last part of my seven part series telling you my top seven simplest ways to get healthy now. Last time we learned why smiling will make you instantly happier and in this final video I'm going to tell you about the most important vitamin that you need to be taking now, vitamin D. Vitamin D is the newest vitamin craze in the medical world as well as the natural health world for the last few years. The reason for all this hype is multiple research studies have now proven it can decrease your cancer risk, keep your memory sharper, help your immune system work better, and even boost your mood. Depressed youth given vitamin D showed huge improvements in their mood and low levels of vitamin D, D may increase your chance of dementia or memory problems when you age. So how much vitamin D should you be taking? It really depends on where you live, how fair your skin is, and how much time you spend outdoors. If you're like me, for example, and you live in the rainy northern climate that gets lots of rain for most of the year, for me that's Vancouver, Canada, then you probably need about 2,000 to 5,000 international units of vitamin D each day. You can see how high your levels are by getting a blood test, which is what you want to do to measure a specific kind of vitamin D in the blood called 25-hydroxyvitamin D or vitamin D3. You want your blood level ideally to be between 100 and 150, according to the latest research. Despite what we used to think, which was, which was that levels of say, you know, 50 or even 30 were just fine. The new vitamin D research strongly supports that we probably really underestimated the level of vitamin D that's optimal for health and that we should aim for blood levels between 100 and 150 of vitamin D3. Doctors used to worry that this range of 100 to 150 would cause toxicity, but now we know this is not true and that you need to take huge doses of vitamin D to get toxic from it. It's really quite hard to do. If your doctor won't test your blood levels for you, as may be the case because the test is not cheap and a lot of conventionally trained docs still believe it's unnecessary, don't worry. You can safely take between two and 5,000 international units of vitamin D each day as long as you're a healthy person without getting anywhere near the toxic range if you live in the northern climate and you don't get outside for most of the day. So that's like anyone living in Canada or northern Europe, for example. Okay, so how should you take it and what type of vitamin D should you buy? You should make sure that the supplement you choose is vitamin D3, again, or 25-hydroxyvitamin D, not D2. D3 is the active form that we need. In most brands, the pills come in 1,000 international units per pill, and they're really tiny and easy to swallow. I should also mention that these pills are very cheap, so everyone can really benefit from taking them every day. One really important thing you need to remember about vitamin D pills is that they need oil to be absorbed into your body and used, so you must take them with a meal or some sort of fat like olive oil, butter, etc. in the meal. If you take them with a piece of fruit or some juice, for example, on an empty stomach, it's not going to do much good for you. My trick is I take my vitamin D pills with my omega-3 fatty acid pills because the fish oil, the omega-3 fish oil, will make sure the vitamin D gets absorbed. So that's the end of my series on the top seven simplest ways to improve your health. I hope you've learned some useful tips and now that I've shared my top seven health tips, I'd love to hear your favorite health tips that you've discovered on your own. Please leave me a comment here or if you have any questions about any of the topics I covered, please write them down below this video so I can answer them in a new video or in my blog for you.